the absoluteness of space-time is of a lower order than that of the CTMU itself, and reality is background-free, and therefore without a distinguished point of reference. In other words, there's no background, there's nothing more real than reality itself against which you can locate reality. So if you're going to call space-time the medium of reality, that applies to space-time as well, right? Which means that there's no way to fix it against an absolute point of reference, which would have to be a background or an external medium of some kind. In the CTMU, space-time is just the terminal subsignature of the metaformal system. Right? A language has a signature or an alphabet, and the metaformal system is an intrinsic language, analogous to intrinsic geometry, it's the linguistic analog of uh, intrinsic geometry, and therefore it has a uh, terminal and non-terminal subsignature, which are basically perceptual reality and a deeper form of reality. Okay, and that perceptual reality is, is simply what we call physics. It's basically reality defined only in terms of its perceptual aspects. All right, now space-time must either be redefined to incorporate N minus T, the non-terminal and terminal subsignatures of the intrinsic language, which makes it identical to the conspansive manifold, by the way, or we have to consider space-time separately from the underlying non-terminal layers of the conspansive manifold. And that's where the true metacausal or telecrecursive evolution of the manifold transpires. In space-time, unless we redefine it, it is not complete enough to actually identify with reality as a whole. We have to treat it as the surface layer of a deeper manifold.